Good morning everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to day two of our five days of Christmas. So yesterday we all showed you some easy and quick gift tag ideas. Today we're going to show you some easy and quick and cute uh, treat holders, okay? So I'm going to show you what I'm using today. I am using my newest um, set called Hey There Cutie. So if you are a tea fan, this is the set for you. And it does come with all the coordinating dies to go with all the images there. Um, and then I'm using my, which ones are they? These are just called my stitched ornament dies. And I'm using this one right here. Um, and then I'm using my new exclusive, which we have a few left. These, this one, these two are the two dies that I released for Black Friday, and I'll just show you the quick sample just in case you missed that. Um, these are them right here, like this is the snowflake one where it kind of opens like that. Um, and then this is the little snowman that opens up this way. Um, these were two exclusive dies that I had released especially for Black Friday and basically once these are gone they're gone forever I'm not going to carry these again so I do have a few left of each but I wanted to show you that I use um, from this one this is the cute snowman one um, I used the actual snowman and I'll show you how I did that and then I used my treat holder die okay um, so let's go ahead and get started let me scooch all that on over there Okay, four, let's go ahead and put the actual little box together first. Um, actually, you know what? Let's decorate it first because I always put it together <laughs> without decorating it. So what I did is I want to show you this guy right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so basically this was attached to this blue tag, okay? So what I did was since... I kind of messed this up and I didn't want to give that to anybody. So what I did was all, and this actually folds up like that. So what I did was I just cut it. I just cut the little snowman off and you could use the snowman by itself. You don't, if you want to cut it and be, you know, kind of stretch your dies, you could totally do what I just did. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on the center there or in the center, I should say. God, I'm afraid to use my pop dots. <laughs> because I'm running low on them. Um, let me grab something else. Hold on one second. Okay, I totally forgot I actually ordered this, okay? This is my favorite. I forgot, I totally forgot I had this here. It just came, so I forgot all about it. So this is just some pop-up tape. This is what I usually use for the layers on my actual cards, but we're gonna use this here today. So I'm I'm not going to go all the way up with it only because I think it's going to hang off the top. And this is pretty permanent, so I'm not I think I ordered this from Amazon. I got that from Amazon. And I think it's like 300 feet or something crazy like that. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and put this and I'm trying to see where it is right here. And let me see going to be a little so I'm just going to fold those in so I can know where I want I want to put this in the center here okay that'll work see I wasn't sure you know what I'm going to do um let's see I'm just going to use this here this is just like that little embossing buddy and just kind of go over just to take away from this yeah there we go it took away the stickiness that's a little trick there and it works like a charm. Okie dokie. Okay, so now that we got there, that together, I used one of the sentiments. This says, have a terrific holiday, okay? So I, I just went ahead and I just wanted to use the, to kind of switch it up a bit to use a sentiment on an ornament. I thought that would be cute. So I'm gonna put this little topper, you know, that little ornament hanger thingy that it comes with. I'm just going to go ahead and attach that onto here. Just like so. Uh-oh, I put it a little crooked. Hold on, I'll take it off. Reposition this. I'm not happy with it. Hold on. Let me redo this again. 
So I'm giving this to someone. I am actually going to give a friend of mine um, some of my favorite teas. Because she always asks, well, what kind of teas do you drink? I drink a lot of different flavors, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and give her the ones that I'm kind of into right now. And I thought this would look really cute on here. And I'm going to have it kind of hanging from the little hand like so. Um, let's put the box together, then I'll determine how I'm going to attach that on there. So what I did was I just, there's two score lines there. So I'm just going to go ahead and, I went ahead and just put some score tape, which is this stuff right here, on here. On these little edges. Oops, let me put the cover on this. And then we're just going to go ahead and just put this together really quick here. And there are little um, little dotted lines there to show you where the little folds go. So this is going to go like so. Okay, goes that side. And then we're just going to line this up. Just like that, okay? And then I'm going to use my bone folder just to go ahead and just reinforce that down. Just like so, okay? So I am going to, let's go ahead and put this in here. I'm going to put, put some little crinkle paper at the bottom here. And then I'm going to put a few of my favorite, I think we could, I'm going to see if I could get five of them in here. I'll, I'll go ahead and share with you the ones that I'm drinking right now that I am enjoying. I love the Trader Joe's peppermint tea. And then another one of my favorites. This is the best. I love this one too. If you're not feeling well, a little bit under the weather, I take this. This is uh, it's the Tulsi Spiced Berry by Yogi. And it's an immune support. And it supports your immune function. And I love it. And it's caffeine free. All of these are caffeine free because I can't have too much. Um, my matcha tea, I have to say, does have caffeine. But it's... Not that ca kind of caffeine that makes you crash after, you know. It's a nice one. I love it. But all of these are caffeine-free, so I like that one. Then I love my cozy chamomile. I love that one. I like taking that, drinking that at night time. Um, then you got to have your ginger tea because this supports your healthy digestive system. This is good if you kind of have like a little upset tummy. I, t I tend to give that to have that. If I do, I rarely do, but if I feel kind of, you know, if I overate or something, I take this and if anybody in my house feels a little tummy issue, I give them this ginger tea and I love it. I swear by it. And then I have my, of course, my uh, just an organic green tea. Okay, so those are the ones that I am enjoying right now. And like I said, I drink lots of them, but these are the ones that I have out right now. So, I think I'm almost positive I can't get, oh, yes, I can. Ooh, thank God. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I was able to get them all, all five of them in, in here. So I kind of want to just maybe tuck these out just a little bit. And I'm going to get some ribbon really quick. Hold on. Okay, I am so sorry. I thought my camera was rolling when I was tying around this cord I found. This was just all um, messed up in my stash there. So what I did was, this is just some stretchable cord. I use these when I make my dogs their little birthday hats. Because um, they're perfect because it stretches around their little neck area when you put it on. Um, I wouldn't say they're ideal for tying ribbon because I had a hard time getting that tight. Um, so what I did was I just grabbed the silver one and the red one and just wrapped it around the tees. Um, to make a just to make a cute little bow to make it look a little bit more festive there um, so now we're going to go ahead and adhere this on to the little hand um, I'm trying to think how well we're just going to go ahead and just glue it on why not let's just do it just like so and I'm going to put this like that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab something let's see what can I use here 
Oh my goodness gracious. I have like a little clothes. Oh, here we go. Little clothes pin just to kind of hold it together. Hold it together just for a few minutes like that. Or you could, we could even leave it on there. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what kind of condition it is when we're done. While that is on there, we're going to go ahead and just get our glossy accents. And let's go ahead and put it like on the eyes. I'm going to see. Hum. Ooh. You know what? Let me put that. And what I did before I forget. Um, have a terrific holiday. I stamped and heat embossed that using some white embossing powder onto the little ornament and that's just some paper I have. You know what I need to do? Actually, I think I have an idea to make sure that does not fall off because that's bothering me right now. I'm going to put a little pop dot. Let's put a little pop dot underneath there. I'm just going to take, this is just the smaller scrapbook adhesive pop dot. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of shove that like so. Oh, <laughs> let me get that better on there. There we go. So now it won't come off. I still want to keep that up there. Okay, so now that we salvage that. Oops, I'm going to need this. Why am I closing it up? Okay, let's put all this away. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually just going to go ahead and squeeze the glossy accents out into this little piece of napkin here. And then I'm just going to take this little, I guess this is an embossing tool. Hopefully my head doesn't get in the video. And I'm just going to go ahead and just paint the glossy accent. This is a little trick here. Same for example, if you don't want the glossy accents to squirt out all over <laughs> accidentally you just do this and this goes perfectly on to the little eyes I love this cutie patooties I love snowman period okay and then let's go ahead and put it on the little tongue just like so and why not let's go ahead and just add it to the nose So this way you have more control of it doing it this way, okay? And then, actually I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to use that. We're going to go ahead and just put it, use this and put it directly onto the little buttons. And that's it. Sorry it just took a little bit longer. This would have gone together a lot quicker had I had a plan. This is what... Um, I did have a plan, it's just that I had a hard time with this. And sorry, I'm glad, now I'm glad I didn't have the camera on because I had a hard time putting that together there. Um, so that is it, everybody. Have a terrific holiday. And I think this is super cute. Now that we just tested it, you can fit five little T's on the inside. And I think this is super duper cute for that tea lover in your life. So that is it, everybody. Don't forget to head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has for you today. They have some really adorable treats for you today. Lots of treat ideas. Um, and also don't forget to see if you were the winner of yesterday's, uh, the first day of our five days of Christmas, I am giving away a $25 gift card to my store every day this week. So check my blog to see if you're the winner of yesterday's. Um, and also leave your comments on all of our blogs today for a chance to win. And I will announce that winner tomorrow morning on my blog. So that is it for today, everybody. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I'll just kind of turn this around so you can see how adorable this looks. So thank you so much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day, everybody. And we will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.